Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Premier League. Today it's Liverpool against Leeds United. So without further ado, we're off to Anfield. Your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi there again, Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith's alongside me and it's Barclays Premier League action for you. Leeds United with the chance to impress now. Yeah, we had these down as a, as a mid-table side when you compared their squad with the other ones and... Uh, that is the way it's panning out. They've still got a long way to go, so they've got to keep on the toes, but um, they're well capable of finishing in the position they are in now. Here comes the cross. Hit with a volley here. High and wide and not very handsome. The player, this guy, that the opposition's really got to keep an eye on the form that he's in. Yeah, I mean, his teammates will be trying to give him the ball at every opportunity. He demands it, he can do special things with it. They've got the ball in the middle of the pitch here. Could be dangerous. Crosses in. Good interception by the defender. News of a goal from Leicester. It's a goal for Newcastle United. 11 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. He's had to go full stretch. Liverpool will take over possession again. Can you ever go back to Liverpool without remembering 1989? No, no, they, they do tend to remind you of it, but in a nice way, because I suppose it reminds them of their glory years as well. They've got the ball back through a very good interception. On to the attack now. We might get an update on that injury now from our man Jeff Shrews. Jeff. I've got to say, he landed really heavily on his shoulder there and looks like he's in severe pain. But he looks less concerned than the bench, who are worried about him. I think he'll stay on. Cheers, Jeff. very tight remember level is on the side oh, the player running forward in the back line holding still it was an extremely tight one but he got it right now on the far side great opportunity that's a big call by the assistant the flag has gone up he would have been in for goal yeah it was a wonderful opportunity but uh, looking back on it afterwards they can have no complaints picking him out at the start because he's been in terrific form what a player oh yeah he's uh, he has been in a terrific kind of form and uh, you'd expect that to continue here good forward play from them Rodrigo fantastic slide tackle to get the ball on the game yet from Liverpool. You can tell he wants to score. Oh, the strikers stopped there as they broke away. Good defending. I think the manager's delighted with this current run that they're on, the home team. They've got uh, 12 points from the last five league games. Even when they're not playing particularly well, they've, uh, they've managed to pick up a point or three. of a goal from elsewhere Alan McInally it's the second goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers 45 minutes played 2-0 thanks Alan I think the player who was getting put now knew it was coming his way even though the game went on for a few moments afterwards yeah, and he's not complaining too much I think he holds up his hands and uh, takes that one well, that 
is half time, and the score is nil nil here. It's a word I hate using mediocre. It's been kind, I think it was a cautious first half between these two teams, wasn't it? They've got to actually throw some of this caution to the wind, you would think. Yeah, I mean, it was dull, let's be fair, but I think as tiredness sets in towards the end of the, the match, you, you'll see a few more chances. No doubt about that, free kick. These days, going off your feet like that is running the risk of the referee taking serious action. Well, he's dived in, it's a reckless one. it back well, the away team it's always tougher for the away team and they come here with just five points from their last five league games yeah it's been a little bit drab from their point of view not much excitement in their game at the moment going to be a substitution here for the home side Got the tackle in. Tiago. Rodrigo. Into the attacking third. It could be in here. Well, you can't fault them for lack of effort. It's still level. But we're still level here. And we're going to have a substitution. Is this the way to alter the match in their favour? An insensible move, that. The last thing you want to do is be down to ten men if he gets a second yellow. the home side have won their last three matches well and they're full of confidence and with the home crowd behind them I think it'll be tough for the visitors good position they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now and the defender has done very well here got his foot in Good work to keep the ball under the challenge. Goal news now from Leicester. It's the second goal for Newcastle United. 73 minutes played, 2-0. Cheers, Alan. Some options on the bench for the home team. Well, he's lent the ball to his mates. He's got it back again. movement off the ball he's in here that pass has really opened them up he's whipped it off the toes of the attacker a oh, wonderful old-fashioned goalkeeping in many ways brilliant oh and goes across good save by the goalkeeper and he makes sure he keeps the ball Claim that at the feet of the attacker, brave. Yeah, and his starting position was good there, just on the edge of the box. Still a chance in this epic game for one side to get a winning goal, but not that much longer. Well, it's a 90-minute match, and there's only two minutes to go. Close-range chance. They've still got an opportunity here after the goalkeeper parried it. Came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. 
He's got a chance to cross. That's a cross the field to try and switch the play. He's got to score! That's really well done. Good defending. In with a chance. Knocked it away. Great piece of defending. And that's the end of the game. And it's finished goalless. In the periods of this game, Alan, they dominated the ball. They didn't take it into a winning position. I think they were always positive in possession, though, Martin. They didn't try those incisive one-touch passes quite enough. So it's finished scoreless. I have to say it was a bit disappointing. We all had higher hopes than that. I'll leave you with the full match highlights. And until next time, I've been Jeff Stelling. Bye for now.